we are working for different collaborations uh, almost uh, we collaborated with all the ca uh, associations uh, every state they are having their uh, different associations like karnataka if you take bombay chartered accountant society with all these societies we are having our collaboration okay so uh, if bombay chartered accountants are doing any uh, event they collaborate with us now yesterday we collaborated with the international business analysis organization on march 16th we are having a program uh, on business analysis and artificial intelligence how we can use that artificial intelligence and technology uh, in our profession actually those days are gone don't think about just income tax gst filings Uh, our profession is not just limited to any com- just only compliance compliance is just a part of our daily routine activities that is not only the opportunity we are having so you might get a doubt what opportunities we are having actually we some people are doing articles and some uh, already completed we are having experienced chartered accountants and uh, uh, cms also here so you get a doubt right uh, because we uh, are doing in the daily routine only the filing work but if you are doing only filing means you are going in a wrong path i can say okay how much amount you can collect by uh, filing a return income tax return maximum how much you will get hmm 1000 2000 5000 from an individual i collected maximum 10000 <laughs> it's rare okay if we are having many complications many capital gains if is dealing with uh, many organizations then we charge 10000 but the time we spent is much 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 more because if we take salary returns we could have filed easily 100 in that time client feels like i am paying 10000 but if you take your time that much you should charge one lakh i say but nobody comes to us because because we are degrading our profession ya epudaina meer atla feel ayara that we are that we are degrading our profession definitely so i never accept any assignment for low fees because we are having our own standards if you take advocates if you take doctors are they working for less fees why should we do that why we as if we are degrading ourselves that is not correct right so client if you want really he wants really our service he comes to us that is different story but what is other is don't just depend on those income tax returns why because like now income tax returns are so friendly like friendly users like even if you open youtube and if you type how to file income tax returns means you are getting guidelines so for that they need not have a professional unless and until if they are having some complexity in their data if it is not that much complex they need not to pay to any professional like that and again one more competition what we are having apart from our professionals consultants semi qualified or bcom graduates they are also coming as competition to us but i never feel they are our competitors why why are they not like competitors for us telugu lo oka samyat undi if you are okay with telugu kayyanikaina viyanikaina samavijil undar right i mean to fight or to have relations you should have the equal partners like i don't mind to fight with any of the professionals but not with the non professionals so here we should see the opportunities what we are having different different opportunities so if you say uh, one of the profession what i like is valuation why valuation you might get it out right why valuation means again if you are having some experience as per the guidelines at least minimum 3 years of experience you should have then only you are eligible to write the exam if you are like having 2 years experience 
then you start from then onwards to study for violation why because if you take my practice along with ca practice i am in a registered value okay for example if i am having uh, 10 lakhs of ca uh, income definitely i have 5 lakhs of valuation okay so but here my bread and butter is always ca income but not the valuation because if once client comes to me that is recurring every year he comes to me every year it's routine job that is bread and butter but the valuation is like ice cream or sweet like then and there like i get again how do i get that valuation how do i get those valuation assignments because there the bar is i can't work for my own client right i can't work for my own client then how do i get clients how do i get clients who gives me clients other professionals not only cas other professionals who are the other professionals that they give work again chartered accountants company secretaries cms and insolvency professionals these are the main source for my valuation income how do i get connects how do i get connects if i sit in my office nobody comes and knock my door to give valuation right right so you should maintain that rapport with the co professionals so for that what we have to do so you should show your visibility that people should recognize you that you are one person like lakshmi chartered accountant she is also a registered valuer so i can refer this case to her right like that you believe it or not i got one case from supreme court the judge he announced my name and he gave me the judgment that lakshmi should do this valuation he didn't ask my acceptance he sent me from apex court i got the instruction and again based on the number of hours i spent i can bill there is no bargain nothing that is the instruction i got from supreme court okay i charged a very good amount of fees for that i can't disclose the fees amount but uh, really i got a good experience as well as good money also so that is uh, about the valuation and apart from that what i have done is insolvency course okay if if any of the professionals if they are having more than 10 years of experience okay they are eligible to do that insolvency course also you go and search in the google or enquire in the market how they earn okay like many of my known contacts okay they are earning in lakhs in lakhs more than their ca practice so many people they left their ca practice just like that and they are focusing only on the insolvency cases actually uh, i completed that insolvency course only 2 years back and now i am having 15 plus years of experience why because so many people threatened me you are a lady that is not your cup of tea you can't survive in the market uh, being a lady but i thought being a lady uh, like so many advocates are there so many professionals are there even though when i started my practice 15 years back they told the same thing being a lady what you can do i am running my firm successfully without any gent partner okay why can't i do this insolvency course gender is not a barrier for anything so i thought the same and i completed the insolvency course and we are running that insolvency uh, entity also successfully 
सो डोंट थिंक दैट दिस इज नॉट माई कप ऑफ टी और दिस इज नॉट माई दिस थिंग यू हैव टू एक्सप्लोर इन द मार्केट सो हियर इवन आई एम हैविंग फिफ्टीन ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एवरी ईयर आई डू सम कोर्स ओके लाइक दैट इट माइट बी डिप्लोमा कोर्स इट माइट बी सर्टिफिकेशन कोर्स इट माइट बी अ प्रोफेशनल कोर्स आई नेवर स्टॉप लाइक स्टडीज because uh, because of that studies today i am in this position i am eating uh, anything means because of that if i am enjoying my position means because of that uh, professional qualification so i uh, like studies very much and i am the continuous learner and lifelong learner so if you like come to this profession don't feel that eppudu chadavala eppudu update avvala ante you should update okay anyone any human being we should accept the change we should update do you agree with me yes why because that change is part of our life earlier like uh, we don't have electricity forget about radio tv tape recorders we don't have electricity electricity ke okay we updated or not Now, do you find any houses in your circle without electricity? Now, do you find any person without mobile? Even my kids are like seven and nine years old. They are asking, "Mama, when will you give uh, mobile?" <laughs> so now, like, mobile is becoming necessary. Now, whatever I bring, like, I don't mind about my laptop or my handbag. I feel mobile should be with me because even I'll not bothering about my wallet also. If I have mobile, matam arche itlo prapancho, right? So now that is the situation uh, we are having, and first we should fix a goal, right? So here we are having so many opportunities, we are having uh, like so many strengths, so many weaknesses. Apart from all, first we should fix a goal. What is that goal? career goal don't do anything that my mother uh, told or my father told my grandfather told those days are gone because they struggle for their bread and butter but we never we never struggled right we never faced like freedom fighting that these and all we are like uh, in a very comfortable position now you are having the freedom that what you can choose because we see many stories like they become cs but they never like come into the practice or service or else if they come also they're not happy do happily whatever you want that is my funda but do it heartfully definitely you'll get the success so first fix your career goal then again next goal is earnings how much do you want to earn spending is different story first earn how much you want to earn and again out of that how much you are savings a penny saved is a penny earned if you see the current generation how it is means they are earning lakhs or crores of rupees but if you compare me with my grandfather he earned a lot he earned a lot how because they saved a lot they saved to spend a rupee he thinks 100 and but i never thinks so they invested again in like wherever like they felt it is good but now the current generation what i am uh, like experiencing is they are not putting any goals of their net worth building but you should focus on it if you see covid time like many struggled many countries struggled i can say but not india why because we are having the habit of savings right so because of that we never struggled so you should keep a goal but uh, not during articles but after starting your profession first you set your goal whether you would like to go for practice or job so stick for that if your vision is to do the practice don't go to job because job is again an addiction you get like every month for some salary fixed 
वन लैख टू लैख थ्री लैख डिपेंड्स ऑन योर कैपेबिलिटी एगेन टू कम टू द प्राक्टीज लाइक यू हैव टू स्ट्रगल अलाट अंत अमौंट वो रावाले अंत सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टे दे स्टे दे बट Uh, I'll say the uh, situation. What will happen? Like uh, I get like many chartered accountants to my office for a job, even though they are having 30 years or 40 years experiences, they are coming now to my office to work for any amount. But I am not in a position to take them. Why? Because they were retired as 50 plus or 60 plus salaries. But I am a small chartered accountant. I can't insult them by giving some six uh, lakh, seven lakhs. So I say humbly, like I can't help them. But if you are in a practice, you never get that type of situation. Initially, you might get the struggle. But later, once if it is set, your team will run the organization, not you. Your presence is not a requirement. Again, uh, we should thank COVID. We have many pros and cons because of COVID, but uh, one of the uh, advantage what we got is now like the entire globe has become a small village, right? So you are like reaching any place to any place is not a big deal. And again, connecting virtually is a common thing. Actually, if you can see uh, the. हाल वेन एवर वी बुक फॉर हिच सी एस इवेंट्स जनरली वी बुक जे एस के हाल दैट इज हैविंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ मैक्सिम फोर्टी दैट इज सफिशियंट बट एज दे आर हैविंग सम मीटिंग लाइक दे शिफ्टेड आर मीटिंग टू दिस सुराना ऑडिटोरियम बट इट्स गुड बट इफ आई अनाउंस द सेम इवेंट वर्चुअली वी आर गेटिंग नियरली हंड्रेड प्लस पार्टिसिपेंट्स because people are feeling it is more comfortable and more convenient but what we thought is let's meet uh, once in a while to have that bonding and connectivity virtually we don't get that bonding and connectivity virtually is good but to have the connectivity more to interact with people to have the networking always physically is better at least once in a while so try to meet as many people as possible and try to show your visibility so now i'll give you a small task here nearly we are having some 20 people in the hall so i give one minute okay within one minute you meet as many people as possible and remember their names okay your time starts now वेलकम मैडम Yeah, successfully your networking is done, right? Yes. Now we are having eminent speakers and inspiring uh, role models uh, for uh, all the chartered accountants. Uh, they are none other than uh, our uh, ex-chairperson uh, uh, 
सीए अपर्णा सोरबी मैडम आई वेलकम अपर्णा सोरबी मैडम टू द डयास I request Vice President Murli Garu to uh, give a bouquet. I request uh, CA Madhumati Suresh Madam to come to the dais. I request Murli Garu and Kedar Nagar to give a bouquet. actually uh, yesterday is uh, women's day and uh, as well as uh, shivaratri happy women's day and uh, happy shivaratri uh, actually uh, being women's day uh, we thought to conduct this event yesterday itself as it is shivaratri we couldn't uh, when we thought to uh, put a jnana yajna event we uh, thought about the women's cs Uh, who can take up this session so then uh, only uh, two persons like uh, i could thought about they are none other than abhana madam and uh, madhumati madam even though they are like so busy uh, so inspiring uh, so they took out their time and uh, came here uh, when i discussed about this uh, opportunities Uh, madam uh, uh, aparna sarbi madam we know her uh, very well uh, being a lady uh, without any gender difference everyone like uh, they uh, like see her very respectfully and uh, she is very humble and down to earth uh, earlier for the hcs launch also she has come uh, so even though she is having uh, other commitments i requested her you should be here madam uh like uh, because we know uh, since many years she successfully uh, has uh, completed uh, her professional journey and again now she is running an uh, organization from uh, practice to profession uh, she only can uh, uh, explore as very well and madhumati madam like uh, uh, i know her very recently last week when we celebrated women's day in the same hall uh, before that day like uh, i met her uh even though uh, she is uh, very uh, like uh, uh uh i can say inspiring model for her own lakshmi madam also came to join with us uh she said like when we uh, are distributing our topics to conduct women's cs she said i take fitness session i thought like she is uh, a very young like, younger than me i thought <laughs> and i called all the coordinators and like to uh, put a meeting to discuss about uh, uh, event of women's day i called her casually as i call everyone i called her casually and i thought like she is very young <laughs> she called she asked are you asking me to come <laughs> and like she was very friendly and she took that uh, session fitness session very well and uh, i thought like age, age is just a number okay uh, we should take her as an example and we should lead our life being women and uh, men also uh, and coming to this event uh, she said one of my topic my favorite topic is like communicate connect and converse so here what we are lacking is we are having so much of knowledge but we are not in a position to communicate with others so we are not excelling in our profession right 
so human beings are having many fears in that one is death and second one is communication communication to speak with neighbor we don't have guts if you see in the foreign countries just if you meet once they hug you to meet once also they them just they come uh, forward and they introduce themselves but we are very traditional and conservative we never come forward to introduce ourselves so madam told like uh, i can take this session like how to communicate in a better way i welcome madam to address the gathering a very good morning friends uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, president lakshmi and all the members of the hyderabad chartered accountant society uh, may you grow from strength to strength what a what a nice uh, uh thing when i heard that you know you have formed a society like this on the lines of the bcag something bccs or whatever bcas very nice we didn't have all this when we qualified in 19 when i qualified in 1989 um so thank you for giving me this uh, wonderful opportunity of sharing my thoughts with you all and it's wonderful to meet aparna she has been any institute program you will have her conducted so seamlessly the 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 program will be incomplete without her presence and uh, lakshmi we attended bucheredi's class together so much of fun we had and uh, it's it's lovely to uh, meet you lakshmi after ages and you have the same infectious smile friends it was a coincidence actually just two days back lakshmi called me but before that a week before that we had a union college reunion i did my bcom honors from the indian institute of management and commerce so after 40 years you know all friends somehow we created a group and then uh, we had an informal get together we were discussing many topics under the sun but one most important was most of them there either they were chartered accountant excelled in different fields you know chartered accountants doctors industrialists engineers and uh, there are some politicians also so that was a big group but one thing what actually we all when we were discussing uh, we were wondering we have people who have excelled academically equally they have got they have been rank holders take take the example of two people they have done exceedingly well in their exams uh, they have been academically brilliant okay but both of them have not been able to make the same mark one person has gone places the other person is struggling he is in industry and he is you know uh, he feels very bad he feels uh, he feels not enough motivated so what is what is the difference see logically if two people have excelled well academically both of them should be doing amazingly well in their professions in their chosen fields but why this difference so so many things when it uh, when we came across we said nowadays we 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 were in that era where you know we didn't know about smart tv smartphone social media insta nothing but today the communication has totally i mean thanks to the smiley since i'm saying thank you to the smiley anything you have a smiley so communication has gone for a toss so it is not important that you know something it's more important to let people know that you know something that is communication how many of you have a reading habit here raise your hands reading means i'm saying not uh, you know professional journals because that's a technical this thing that we'll do later general reading whether it is newspaper or some non fiction fiction also no problem please raise your hands wow give a big round of applause to those people now what's your name diveshri Diveshri, can you stand up and say uh, what kind of books you read and uh, what has impacted you? Who's your favorite author? Something like that. You want a mic? Yeah. And the books? No, not it. Anybody? What kind of books and? Uh, because lakshmi told me let it be an interactive session 
because otherwise you know please sit down so she reads newspapers how many of us read i have seen newspapers in some houses simply lying it will come it will be there you know newspaper you will only realize when the newspaper guy doesn't turn up isn't it in most of the houses it's like that so what i'm trying to say is reading is very important to develop your communication skills a person somebody somebody said it so nicely a person who doesn't read there is no difference between a person who cannot read and a person who can read but doesn't read is there any difference no difference so anybody would like to tell you you were reading books who who is the other person any book i want any favorite author what is the book that you are reading Harry Potter. Harry Potter wow young and spirit very <laughs> harry potter and then uh, non fiction Which was? Rich Dad Poor Dad. Rich Dad Poor Dad. Okay, good. Uh, so, what is the takeaway from that book? What is it you like in the book? Share with the audience. And it is a book which. Uh, it is a book which tells us how to save and how the rich kids, uh, how they are treated by their parents, and how they are brought up, and how they uh, this uh, poor dad and who like it is like poor poor dad but. How they treat their children to grow up, and what is the mind over it for the savings? Like, Excellent. Like small initiative by through the book that uh, we came across to the young minds. Even today, I I used to save some amount apart from my whatever the income is, uh, but it is a good thing what I have learned from that. Excellent. <laughs> so friends, talking about communication, whether you converse informally with someone. or you communicate formally with your peers or if you are in industry with your boss or if you are the cfo with your uh, people who are working for you you need to connect because unless you connect it's very difficult for people to understand what you are trying to communicate don't you agree with me so communication is the master key remember communication is the master key to open the to unlock your potential isn't it so that's about reading habit and then you have something called the because unless you connect competence human competence is very divided into three kinds of human understand what you are trying to communicate i'll come to communication which is a part of the third so communication okay? is the master key so human competence remember is communication is the master key and that is one is to open the scientific unlock competence you all potential. come under the category all Listen professionals it. chartered accountants doctors astronauts so engineers habit. you can't be scientific competence where you have, you have something called purpose. the human Logic, competence human competence can be divided into three kinds of cases you can problems. remember the case laws I come to you can take the case of my case you know third so competence okay then you have the gifted so human competence it is what like is gifted competence you have a sports person you may be a uh, musician be a artist not everybody be can be a medical advocate but it is the skills isn't but so that is a gifted competence so some people the brain is wired in such a way you have scientific competence you, you have gifted competence potential. but the most important that is and the most neglected is the emotional competence what is emotional competence emotional competence is the way you connect with people the way you make a mark the way people look up to you for inspiration that is you know you must have read emotional intelligence so much is being said about emotional intelligence so communication is a part of this emotional competence in people it is like you have a heaven load of information you may be a great scientist you may be a brilliant chartered accountant you may be an amazing advocate a great industrialist but if you are lacking in emotional competence you will not be able to reach your potential that is emotional competence like uh, the I, i read a book where he gives a beautiful example you have a liter of milk what do you need to convert it into curd as culture a teaspoon of a teaspoon of curd that's enough you get beautiful curd but if you say oh i have a liter of lovely milk now i'm going to convert it into curd and just leave it like that will it get converted that tablespoon or teaspoon of curd is your emotional competence 
which is so very augmentative that is going to add sheen to your personality so now we come to what are the important ingredients of communication i want you to participate tell me uh, you must have heard so many people okay you must have heard so many people communicate what did you find interesting what are the ingredients of excellent communication anything whatever you feel he is a good communicator because one expressing the views please stand up and yeah, yeah. expressing the views ha huh. and uh, communicating in an easy manner to understand the other person excellent so be simple you have to because you must have heard of uh, sashi tarur sashi tarur you know if you have to please sit extremely intelligent it's it's wonderful to read his books to listen to him but you have to carry a dictionary with you because some of the words just go above your head an effective communicator is a person you get you to communicate in a very curd. simple what if you say oh i have a but easily probably will convert it into curd only then they can say that's why i said communicate and just connect if you want to connect that you have to be simple i'll give you an example there was this man who was very fond so of using something like your sashika sashi taru and uh, very um, so fond of english language and all these things find difficult words to substitute the easier ones so he attended an interview he wanted to make an impact okay he was delayed so like i was delayed by a few minutes what did you find so the interviewer asked what him, are the ingredients of uh, your schedule time was this but you are delayed by 15 minutes what is the reason he is a good guy you know what this guy said expressing Sir, expressing the views as i was descending the declivity the with such high velocity and, uh, i lost my center of gravity and was precipitated upon the arterial highway the now the interviewer fainted excellent what he meant to so, say was I was climbing down the stairs. I lost my balance and fell down. And I, unfortunately, I fell down on the main street. So naturally, he had to be, to be taken for the treatment. That is why. So communication has to be simple. And communication has to be very clear. You should not assume or presume. Okay. You should not think, oh, he knows this, so why I should tell? See, there was this uh, lecturer. He wanted to explain to the students. Only then they can connect. That's why I said. This, uh, you know the dangers of alcohol. You want to connect, you have to be simple. taking alcohol. Exactly. Nowadays we have drugs, you know, alcohol. So he keeps two uh, containers of water. One one container with water, the other one alcohol. And he takes some live worms and puts some in the water and puts some in the alcohol. The ones they put in the water, they swam beautifully up. And the ones in alcohol, they struggle, 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 and they die. So then he asked. He wanted to communicate something very important that alcohol is bad for health. That was his idea. He wanted to communicate. So guys, what do you what do you learn from this? So one boy boy got up and said, "Sir, if we take alcohol, it will destroy all the germs and bacteria in our body." <laughs> so he wanted to communicate something, but something else got communicated. Okay. Uh, similarly, there was this man. so whenever i give a talk i give a lot of examples so that you remember and then through the examples you remember what i am trying to tell you there was this guy this is a very funny incident this guy uh, on a sunday afternoon he was having a very, very relaxed sunday afternoon he read his newspaper and all and uh, he was sitting and then there was a bell calling bell so he goes and opens the door he finds his friend you know his friend has come to meet him his friend like i told you rb conference you know after 20 30 years and they hug each other and they say my god what a pleasant surprise you have given me please come please come and along with him a dog also enters so this guy assumes that the dog is this fellows so the dog comes inside and these both they they talk about their uh, college days their school days their friendship everything in the meanwhile the dog is having a field day the dog goes to the this fellow has a pet cat so it goes and uh, scares that cat then it throws some curios it breaks something so and the lady of the house is irritated and she can't tell anything because this is this uh, her so these were some of the such a long thoughts time and i thought i should share with you all about the training to me and making a mess and there's a new upholstered yeah. sofa but now i wanted to jump so we can say that i want to give you this guy whatever it may be bad looking at all this is not able to tell it to communication which you have to spend some time and then he is going to go back and finally after all that the dog goes and uh, there is a recliner it goes and lies down sleeps off after all this now this guy finishes his lunch everything is over and he is about to leave 
when he's about to leave uh, this fellow actually inwardly he's heaving a sigh of relief my god and then he sees him to the door then when he goes there uh, he says my friend i think you forgotten to take your dog he's sleeping <laughs> my dog i thought it was your dog is <laughs> just one simple question is this your dog how has it been trained because sometimes what happens we don't want to uh, talk with the fear that you know the other person may think something don't allow such things to cloud your mind ask point blank the dog was neither his nor his it was some stray dog which came inside and did all this okay so you have to be very clear and pleasant and courteous now how do you feel like sitting and listening to some person who is always you know, very grumpy and you know he doesn't i mean as if the entire world you know he shouldering the responsibility of the world and even the speakers will not be able to connect with him you have to be pleasant you have to be very courteous you all must have heard of abraham lincoln so many presidents have come but one president which my parents grandparents and my children their children for generations together will remember abraham lincoln he was supposed to be he was a master of words the words that he an excellent communicator and uh, one day he was passing through the road his car and you don't have in us and all you don't have a big uh, fleet of cars following the president's car and all that he'll just go about and then he had his uh, secretary seated and as he was going there was this beggar standing on the side of the road do you know they have this hat and then they beg in the us so he he sees the president pass and he salutes him he says good morning president and lincoln says uh, he tells the driver please stop the car he stops the car he gets down shakes hand with that beggar and says good morning young man and then gets into the car now the secretary is very much annoyed he says you are the president you are the president of the most powerful nation in the world and you get down from your car and then shake hands with him after all he is a beggar this is not the way president you must follow the protocol and you know what abraham lincoln said he said remember my friend i don't want anybody in this world i don't want anybody in this world to be more courteous than me so that kind of you know be courteous be pleasant and you'll always connect with people such people will always be liked and they'll be able to connect easily and uh, prepare whether it's a technical subject or a non technical subject you need to prepare very well in fact i was getting delayed somebody who is vasavi yes. yeah she picked up the phone she said ma'am is taking a session so i said do you have a paper and pencils she said no no i think from next time onwards we must arrange some small uh, paper pencil you know to write down something so i said in case i'm delayed i want them to write some quote or some passage or something which you know has actually made a difference in their lives i wanted you to write it so prepare i was talking about being prepared for any talk but prepare doesn't mean you have to go on preparing endlessly many of you may not have heard uh, palki wala speech but i think lakshmi and we people have heard we have had the fortune of listening to his, his budget speeches were like a carnival you know he people would uh, flock to attend there won't be place and hand he would reel out figures like anything aparna mai bombay and we had the good fortune he had come to lal bahadur stadium so many times he would come and give the mumbai and people used to come from australia other continents to simply listen to nani's talk on the budget reel out figures of course that was an excellent preparation uh, i was reading a book on uh, keshav ayengar i believe he was an eminent jurist he said you have to prepare for the case but 48 hours before the case comes up for hearing close your file tie it up and put it aside just like our ca exams don't go on till the examination hall we go no he says 48 hours before that and he practiced till the age of 93 keshav ayenga so he said 48 hours before that tie it up and put it and then open it only when you have to present your case in the court because he said if you prepare endlessly you will be endlessly unprepared so that is the thing and then credibility credibility is very important uh, credibility can anyone throw a light on that credibility precedes communication 
So how will you explain it? A good communicator has to be credible. Otherwise, they can't connect. You can share your views. You can give our own example. Our example so many people who are practicing chartered accountants. It's unfortunate that so many chartered accountants have uh, succumbed to greed. And you know, you've heard so many uh, cases like so credibility is, you know, people should believe you, people should know, you should actually walk the talk. Now suppose I'm uh, in my profession, I'm unscrupulous. I don't follow the rules, you know, and uh, I go out of the, uh, I, I, I don't uh, follow the rules and I'm unscrupulous. I follow all um, um, malpractices, things like that, all that thing. And if I give a talk on, suppose you all know, Oh, this person has been convicted and I believe that uh, uh, there was a raid and very recently we had unfortunately a very senior chartered accountant and there was a raid by the enforcement directorate. I don't want to take his name, it had come in the papers and all. So now such a person, if he is going to come and talk about ethics, about ethics in profession, how many people do you think would attend? So practice what you preach. Credibility is very important. So these were some of the thoughts I thought I should share with you all on communication, the time given to me. Yeah, but now I want it to be because it's only one sided. I want you to give your views, whatever it may be. Anything related to communication which you have uh, experienced in your own you know, offices. How many of you are in, you're all chartered accountants qualified or how many of you are qualified chartered accountants here? Yeah. How many of you are in industry? Two. Are all the others in practice? Very good. So from your, we'll begin with you. You're in industry. Um, you're working for? Give a mic. Yeah, please address. This is again a part of communication. You'll come, you'll address. And Am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rajita, and I'm working for Aga Khan Academy. It's an school, international school from grade one to grade twelve. I didn't get the name properly. Aga Khan Academy. Aga, Aga, Aga Khan. Khan. Aga Khan. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It's an Aga Khan. Very nice. And this is my fourth company where I'm working. I have worked in different industries, manufacturing, then service industry, so in different places as well. So when coming to same for communication, definitely it is important because when you need to communicate, you need to know what you know or what you want to do. Because in industry, what I saw is that, uh, like uh, I can say, you you have vast knowledge when we qualify as a CA and come back. But when in small industries, you have you will have scope to do everything. But in bigger industries, you it is a diversified and you will have a very little bit. Maybe you will not get chance to do what you want in a stream. Maybe internal audit or uh, FPNA or coaching or anything. So when the, what are the opportunity you want, you get, try to take it and try to communicate the, what you want to do. So then only you can get that chance or else you will be continuing in what you are doing. So that is one. And also, there will be different views. As a professional, we will have different views, definitely. So try to understand the other person's views and then try to communicate. Or else it will go to conflict. It will never end. So that's what I Very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. Excellent. Empathy. Trying to put yourself in the other person's shoes. And then, because that's why somebody said, a good communicator is one who communicates in such a way that he is able to disagree without being disagreeable. He is able to make a point without making an enemy. He is able to handle men without manhandling them. <laughs> How nice, no? Excellent. A big round of applause to her. Yeah. Please come forward. Now anyone from uh, practice? Anybody, please. I am happy to share because, uh, you know, my cup is always empty. Never have a feeling that your cup is full. Every day, every second, we learn from every person we come across. And not only person, it can be even uh, human beings, non-human beings from animals. Everybody you learn. 
something or the other so i am here to learn something from all of you today and i'll be enriched by that so i want you to come forward anything relating to communication that you have come across in your uh, offices in your yeah please you what you must do is just come uh, introduce yourself hi all uh, good morning myself uh, kedarnath i am a qualified chartered accountant and doing my own practice uh, the best way to improve the communication what i feel whatever you know try to give try to explain to others uh, it, it may be in our offices like uh, suppose you know the one subject you can take a session to others explain them interact with them ask the questions clarify the uh, their questions and doubts so so the more and more we speak we get the uh, we can update as well as uh, i we share our knowledge so there is a very good quotation uh, it's there if you have one apple i have one apple if you exchange each one should have again one apple only if you have one idea and i have one idea if we exchange each one sh uh, shall have two ideas two ideas so this is one point uh, i would like to tell and uh, ma'am ask you one more thing uh, what are the effective uh, things for a, 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 a ingredients for a communication ma'am i would like to say that the communication can be called as a two types one is a verbal second one is a non verbal verbal means what i am doing now that is a oral communication what i am speaking here that is called as a verbal communication coming to the non verbal communication what are the action i am doing either it may be a shake uh, hand movements eye contact my gesture my whatever the things like my smile like whatever i am explaining what i would like to deliberate in a more effective way that is called as a non verbal communication even i say hi also this is a non verbal communication so the communication we can broadly classify two things as i said verbal and non verbal many times non verbal communication also helps a lot plays a vital role also suppose there is a good uh, meeting is going on like our meeting is going on someone suppose gets a call and he speaks beside so let's say the beside person can say that just like just to show your finger and put it in the means it conveys a lot of meaning to the other person saying that he is asking me to keep quiet <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right this is a one way and the one more point i would like to add here the effective communication will be completed when we get a feedback from the others if the feedback by how i will i'm going to get my feedback it's like when i'm speaking the someone is uh, nodding their head someone is saying uh, smiling someone saying about uh, yes or no so some thing they're giving so the effective communication will be completed once there is a once the sender receives a feedback from the recipient then only the effective communication will be successfully completed this is uh, i would like to address thanks a lot ma'am for the giving opportunity thank you 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 thank So I will hello everyone this is Muzaffar Siddiqui and uh, I am a second year article I am not a qualified person but uh, what I like to convey as ma'am said communication is more important uh, where what I have seen till now till my ages is uh, people lag behind like they don't have confidence to speak like he is afraid of like coming and speaking like uh, as ma'am said much more things about communication I would like to add one point ma'am like what i feel grammar in india people are afraid of speaking english and the what i want to convey is grammar is not important what is important is what you are delivering content ha huh. content as well as uh, uh, in our like telangana more of in a ca community we have this telugu and we are afraid of speaking in english like oh we don't we we are telugu people we don't know how to properly speak and communicate with others uh, so we stop ourselves we lag behind and this is how others will get a chance and opportunity to come in front and take that edge so here one more thing is that networking stop because of this communication and the people are lag behind this 
and uh, i would like to tell everyone like be confident whatever it may be your english will, will be poor or somewhat you will not be able to deliver but however it may be you should deliver the thing communication may be uh, like what you want to say you you will not able to deliver the thing but you have to make the point uh, content should be that pure that you should deliver it maybe in somewhat you can use telugu in between for the telugu people Nothing hindi yes. in between just to make yourself up uh, and have a edge so that one more important thing that we will be able to do is like networking here uh, when i started this uh, in hcs i have told uh, Lak- Ma- lakshmi madam ki i want to be active in this hcs because i, I am not a qualified person here uh, i got i will get the opportunity to be with the young talented as well as the qualified experienced people so this is the opportunity that i have earned and i would like others and future generation to take this opportunity and come forward excellent so what did we learn from him communication goes beyond grammar beyond the rules of grammar and english how many of you have heard chaganti koteshwar rao i i am just hooked to him the days you know i miss out on that the morning in fm you get that what what telugu you know so and he is an absolute he he talks about uh, you know mahabharata ramayana maha so many and you know you just wonder how his head is able to have all those things in mind so language is not at all and even a layman can understand anybody can understand so it should go above the language and be bold and don't assume and don't hold yourself back whatever you want to convey convey i don't know i, I read in a recent book you know very funny that when a foreigner comes and talks in our local language we find it very cute akada meedu ochara meemu oh my god she's so cute and when our own indians falter in english what is this communication yeah he can't speak good english are we not hypocrites so this is something we need to think about and when i read that in that book i found it so true really so many foreigners come visiting no we praise them some foolish act we should say why why do you talk like this this is not the way come on learn properly and talk our language <laughs> okay yeah the two smart ladies here who are you are both partners in the same firm no different yeah Uh, hi good morning i am varsha i am a, practi- a practicing chartered accountant uh, so basically i am not from hyderabad so it's just been 2 uh, years i have uh, now settled i am from chennai and settled here uh, so first communication which you said which is very important now when i am building a practice so when i have to meet go meet and clients so what they first whether i am able to communicate maybe in english or telugu i am not very good yeah. at telugu but then still english and hindi works for me here so what i found here is when we are able to tell them what we know or uh, how to pitch in with them so they are also very uh, like fine with it it's not just the uh, language barrier but it's fine like if even if i know english they are fine with it and it goes so um, what i would uh, suggest is communication is very important at this stage uh, may be like uh, even articles for them like they have to keep uh, learning every day like uh, it, it could be anything it could be the business uh, like what you do in laws or whatever but even you have to groom it for uh, for your future as well because you will be among like uh, so many other people but how you put yourself that even that matters a lot uh it could be any kind of gestures like sir was mentioning like even when you are sitting it matters a lot when you sit and uh, when you see other people and say hi even that matters because they notice you so that is one kind of networking where uh, people will start uh, for me this is a i would say this is first stage where i am coming out and uh, doing it because uh, in the beginning when i came i was afraid because i don't know people here so a uh, being into practice is not easy it's not easy, easy. yeah uh, because you, uh, without knowing people uh, practicing is difficult then i was like uh, let's do it i wanted to be into practice let's start up where i know now it's been like a year and i know where i was before and now where i am so it makes a huge difference because people you will come to know you will meet lot of people so communication is more important in that excellent, excellent. <laughs> wish you all the best in your practice
anybody else yeah. so it has to be interactive we all should learn from each other uh, hi it's monica practicing one thing is in communication i think is before communicating you should not presume anything in mind if you presume anything in mind that communication will not be even active or not fruitful also so be clear be very clear in your mind just talk with the person understand what he wants to tell you also then you communicate you should not be like i make i want to talk this with this person so that will only go in your mind you will not think or you will not understand what the front person is want to talk to you so be patient calm and talk to the other person listen what he is expecting from you and then you talk that will only serve a proper communication i feel very nice especially in practice it's very important i have i have experienced cases where there is a family concern we are taking care of their tax affairs everything the father will come and speak to me separately the son will come and speak to me separately so other than taking care of their tax affairs you also have to be somewhat like a family member counselor mentor guide everything please don't tell my son i came and met you but this is what i am so you have to listen it happens have you not heard people in practice so you become uh, invariably you become at sometimes in fact there was one case i was so that guy came and told me my mother wants to meet you it is a family you know she is also a partner and uh, he said my mother wants to meet you but she can't climb the office stairs so is it possible for you to come and meet her so i said yes and then when i went so many things i learned from her she says they simply they asked me to sign i signed the return but i want to know i want to know what is the turnover what order the taxes were paid every time annual they just come and they say income tax return please sign so you sit with me and explain how we were some years ago and how now what what are the actual sales what does the law say minimum in a way that i understand mere ko samjhe ho jaisa aap zara bataiye kyunki ye log aake chup ke sign karo bolte main partner hu tax audit but i want to know exactly what is happening so you know that kind of communication so communication is so very important you must have like that if you have anything yes your what's your name acha sushi acha anything you want to share Your your practice. Practice. Oh, I'm not feeling well. Uh, oh, oh no issue. Please sit down and talk. No issue. No, that's not the code word. What I'm trying. Hello, everybody. I'm Sushil Bajaj. Uh, 25 years of experience. My previous experience includes working with Shilpa Medical as CFO and also the Cement Division President, Vice President for Ka- Keshoram Industries. so i worked across 25 years throughout uh, my is in uh, you know uh, the field of uh, uh, into employment but later on that it is coming at this stage which earlier team members also explained when it comes at the later stage of the part of life it's much challenging to be continued in the industry because the pay as packages those don't continue so of course if you would have you know initial some sort of you know support or something which in the my early stage i would have started practice as I think I would have a different say. So I just wanted to share this experience, which is a personal thing, which about. But that's what you know. How the practice and the industry is a different something which uh, you can you know take me as an example to. So that's what I just want to communicate. Oh, very nice. Thank you. So we need to be patient. It will take off. Everyone didn't start off big, no. So you need to have that uh, perseverance, the patience. and the ultimate faith in god and will go places nothing but only thing never compromise on your integrity i would like to end before i finish you know i would like to end with abraham's uh, lincoln's letter which is very important for all of us as chartered accountants lakshmi my good friend please share your views she is, she was a person she was a live wire in our class and we would folk we would find it so difficult to focus because she would make us laugh <laughs> <laughs> some jokes kada she has a very great sense of humor now please hello good morning to everyone so before uh, telling about the communication i want to tell you one thing one of my clients once he approached me somewhat he got the capital gains tax uh, they are not uh, such a educated person and all they don't know about this someone they told uh, and also my husband is also in the same practice uh, so he came to me at the time my husband was out of station and he approached me when i'm watching i do i receive tax notices uh, i have to how much tax i have to pay they are asking 50 lakhs like that for uh, two or three crores profit i have to pay 50 lakhs like that 
they don't know anything about the tax and all uh, you do whatever you want to do so then i told uh, my wife is scolding whatever you are earning you are spending outside only uh, in spite of having 30 years married life we have not constructed even a house also for me tomorrow if you die what is my position directly madam if i go to home she will ask you if i go to outside like this in between this tax matters where shall i go madam most of the cash only those days uh, not uh, this one uh, banking and all not this one most of the sales are in the form of cash only i have plenty of the cash at home you know how much my wife picks i don't know what to do i don't know my son how much he does i don't know everyone they will bring pressure on me what shall i do then i told uh, actually i don't have any house madam even i too want to construct a house on my name otherwise my wife will take possession of all control then i can't wear it then okay whatever you want you do your tax will uh, i will reduce your tax because we have so many friends of the sections 54e if we, if we don't have any single house 54f will uh, take care of us 54e if you have some house also some other case laws if you made me if i construct a house on my wife's name also shall i get exemption no oh, you will get you will get for that also i have case laws are there to protect us we need not uh, worry so what i feel is for good communication first we should try to understand what is the problem prevailing there if we speak whatever we know whatever knowledge we possess with that if we speak with them they will get irritated what we have to do first trying to listen is the what is the problem there then what is the solution to them solution we may be knowing but how to communicate to them according to their own language you construct on your wife's name it's okay if you construct on your wife's name it's okay if you give money to your son that is also okay all you will get madam i got so much relief madam after speak to you he said yes if uh, he paid tax to tax authorities <laughs> then uh, he didn't speak anything about my fee i feel bad no after uh, providing uh, such a comfort zone i kept him madam i'll come later madam uh, you do this one now some papers i have this information bank passbook and all my pan number whatever you wanted to do it madam uh, i'll talk to you i'll come again next day weeks together we spent he didn't turn up his wife is making a call madam uh, my husband came to you that uh, conversation was in telugu maha ayana ochana anta kada mee degara office ki cheppar anta kada meeku tax file cheyamani chesnara emaindi case chaala tax pay cheyalsi vastundi naaku adhe pareshan ayindi adi సరే అమ్మా మరి నాకు కూడా చాలా పరేషాన్ అవుంది అంత ట్యాక్స్ సరే దెన్ ఐ ఆస్కడ్ దెన్ హౌ మచ్ ఫీజు విల్ పే టు మీ హస్బెండ్ మేడం వాళ్ళు ఇయాల్సింది వీళ్ళు సో ఆన్ ద పీపుల్ దే హ్యావ్ టు పే మీ బట్ దే హ్ నాట్ పే రైట్ నౌ ఐ డోంట్ హ్యావ్ మచ్ క్యాష్ యాజ్ ఫర్ యాజ్ మై ఫీజ్ కన్సర్న్ ఈ డిడ్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ మచ్ క్యాష్ విత్ హిమ్ ఐ సా హీస్ అ బ్యాంక్ పాస్బుక్స్ అండ్ ఆల్ cash is floating like a river <laughs> madam this uh, i have to pay someone else madam uh, again uh, i am uh, i came to an agreement i have to pay like this uh, he is keep on postponing then what we required is in the communication we should listen to their problems first to communicate them very much properly what are the consequences then i threatened him no if we don't pay this within the tax i'll reduce your tax because uh, there are so many sections so many means and ways how to do in the capital gains earlier not now now everything is uh, digitalized we cannot uh, do all such uh, faceless assessment then we can't even uh, convince there also so all this took me so what i am telling is for communication first we have to understand the problems from where we are getting what situation we are there then what is the solution to such problems and the main thing is what i felt is we will be near to our clients if we speak to their own language in their own path 
if we go to section 54 like this capital gains this and that and all cost of index this and all we cost of inflation if you say like that they never come to us they feel to us that we have to stoop to their level first to communicate them properly that's what what i feel is excellent that was luxury for you i told you she made you all laugh no in the few minutes that she held the mic yeah you don't have to give details because when i go to the doctor he says you suffer from migraine that's enough and he'll give me the medicine he doesn't have to tell that you know the, 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 there are these arteries the value and, of know, a dollar third is and much it, higher actually, than because i'll get a bigger headache then. <laughs> so as uh, lakshmi rightly said give them the advice show them the difference between tax avoidance and tax evasion and because we are all there to help them in a legal way so that is all about communication and i think friends i think we are overshooting our time you have been here since eight o'clock yes, yeah. in the morning yes, yeah so now make a promise all of you that you pick up some good book to read and make a journal anything that appeals to you write it down it could be a one liner see like for example when uh, when uh, when i was when i told lakshmi that i'm going to talk about communication the first thing that came to my mind was what plato the great uh, greek philosopher said once wise men speak because they have something to say fools speak because they have to say something <laughs> so so much of difference so any quotation that you come across write it down write it down and go through that you will not believe at the end of the year when you see your journal you'll feel so happy that so many things and it will widen your horizon and as i told you you are the listener when you're reading a book you're actually listening to someone who is conversing silently with you don't you think so somebody is silently conversing with you and you're listening so you become a good listener now i would like to end my talk with this letter i don't know how much of it i remember but this was a letter written by abraham lincoln he was a great communicator i told you he wrote a letter to the headmaster of his son's school and all this is uh, you remember you remember you have read it you have the lesson please write it down it is a lesson for all professionals not just chartered accountants he wrote it for his son for the headmaster but it's relevant to each one of us he says it takes time i know but teach him that a dollar earned the value of a dollar earned is much higher than five found teach him to learn to lose but also to enjoy winning let him learn early that bullies are the easiest to lick teach him to be gentle with gentle people and tough with the tough teach him to scoff at cynics but yet beware of too much sweetness teach him to sell his brawn and brain to the highest bidder but never to put a price tag on his soul let him have the courage to be patient let him have the patience to be brave and above all let him have sublime faith in mankind i know it's a tall order but see what you can do sir he's he's a little he's a little boy my son this is the letter unquote unquote which was written by abraham lincoln to his son's headmaster don't you think all this is relevant for us sell his brawn and brain to the highest bidder but never to put a price tag on his soul and the the president of the most powerful nation writes in such a beautiful language to the headmaster otherwise if you see the politicians come on i want admission take it you know it's like that so that's how you make a mark in society with these words i thought i'll leave you friends thank you very much for the opportunity really uh, motivating and inspiring uh, we learn many ways like how to communicate and how to balance ourselves and uh, how to go ahead in our life uh, how to excel not only like a professional like a person uh, thank you very much for your wonderful words and i request uh, uh, parna madam to uh, give uh, her inspirational uh, story and motivation means being a uh, woman chartered accountant she became uh, uh, a chairperson of ICA branch of Hyderabad and again she is successfully running an organization now she is an woman entrepreneur uh, we find like very rarely entrepreneurs that uh, like when I searched for women torch barons bearers I can only find out a uh, uh, madam uh, please ma'am
తెలుగు ఐ వుడ్ సే పెద్ద పీట వేసేసారు ఓకే వెరీ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ హ్యాపీ విమెన్స్ డే టు ఆల్ ది విమెన్ అవుట్ దేర్ and happy men's day to the men here because shivaratri was yesterday and shiva is considered the epitome of manhood so <laughs> very happy men's day to all of you happy shivaratri to you coming to my journey when she asked me i was not prepared for any topic so i don't think i'll be as eloquent <laughs> as she was but yeah i'll try my best to see that you're not bored after the excellent talk that you've had uh before i start my talk i would like all of you to just stand up how would you gesture if you want to celebrate something like let's say india won the test match or you passed the ca exam how do you do that yes yes all of you you have to be expressive after this <laughs> is it it yes so you all spread yourself right don't you feel your chest is also broader yes in profession or in life we have to make space for ourselves that's what makes you achieve things in life that's thank you <laughs> so one of the things about success is i i still want some inputs from you what does success mean to you what do you feel is success that is success and when we are happy with it in ourselves and we are satisfied with what we do this success can you get this whole bag Sorry. can you get this can you get all of this yes all of this all, all, all of what you said so the main thing is uh, we should feel satisfied satisfied in ourselves like what we are doing and we should make our parents proud for me i am an art class student so for me when i make my parents proud about me Okay, good. Anyone else? Yeah, Mr. Bajaj. By the way, Shilpa Medicare is one of our customers. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. It's more than three years there. Okay. Uh, what does success mean to you? Yes, success means, you know, getting your first person. In terms of wealth, family is also one of the success which you will be able to do. can mean different things to different people it's not the same it's not just earning money name fame okay it is to be able to do what you set out to do to be able to to be able to achieve what you set out to do so each one's uh, goal is different it's not that everyone has the same goal and because lakshmi had told me to tell my life story i don't think it's such a big story but i would just still like to say i was born into a family of engineers there was absolutely no one who knew what commerce was actually <laughs> so when i was i was also slated to be an engineer or a doctor because i was very good in my studies people thought because of course at that age and even now so many people think that if people if you are really studying well you will become a doctor or an engineer so that's now we have more people getting into ca as well but at that time we didn't even know what a ca was frankly Okay. and i was in mumbai and i was really studying well people thought i'll become a doctor okay because i was studying well not for any other reason <laughs> not that i would have been a good doctor and so in my ninth standard i have this neighbor uh, who came and gave me sweets who gave she gave us sweets and she said uh, said what are the sweets for i was in my ninth standard uh, she said my my sister got a rank in the ca exam 
asked her what is the CA exam first of all and she explained this is called the chartered accountancy exam it's a national exam and in the national this she got a rank so I said then my mother asked okay uh, so now because at that time women women working itself was not so pre- this uh, prevalent so she asked what would she do after that so she said uh, she said she got an offer immediately from one big uh, uh, government public sector undertaking with 4000 rupees salary and i'm talking about 30 oh, not know, almost 40 years ago uh, with 4000 rupees salary and that 4000 was for me at that time 4000 is like 4 lakh salary no monthly salary so it's 4000 salary but she refused that said what is this 4000 salary and she refused she said yeah because she wants to practice so all these were new words to me <laughs> because she wants to practice so i was curious i said what is this practice i thought only doctors practice you know because the only people we have seen are doctors and engineers and she said no no chartered accountants also can practice they can set up their own office and that's what actually inspired me and i suddenly declared to my father i'm going to do ca <laughs> when i didn't know what it was my father did know what it was and no one knew what it was frankly so he said what why ca he said no i want to do ca only so he thought maybe it's some momentary fascination i had because of that incident and i was in my 10th and all and i studied quite well and Yeah, even though the percentages now may not look so attractive because now you have 99% also but at that time 90% means you would get all mumbai first rank okay <laughs> and i got a 84% so i used to stay in andheri which is one uh, locality in in mumbai and i was in the top 100 ranks in andheri <laughs> i mean now 84% is like nothing <laughs> at that time it used to be different okay so and my father thought i have forgotten that commerce thing and i said no i am going to do commerce and then everyone actually told my father your stu- your daughter is doing stupidity she is like behaving very foolishly but uh, why is she doing commerce she can actually take medicine or at least do engineering i mean that i mean at least do engineering Uh, I said no I am doing commerce my father he went to office I went alone to Chennai College of Commerce which was there in Andheri and I went and enrolled myself also <laughs> into commerce <laughs> so that's how my journey into commerce began uh, and yeah I cleared CA quite early when I was 21 uh, so incidentally I got married also when I was 21 so <laughs> something which made me come to Hyderabad In Mumbai, I did my articleship with the CA called Harish Motiwala, who was also in the Central Council. Very, very good expert in taxation, and very, very strict. Strict to the sense that you know, I used to go to college at 6:45 in the morning because I used to do my BCom along with my articleship. So go to college at 6:45 in the morning. We had till 10 o'clock. and then come home fast have some breakfast board the local train and reach office by 11 and it was like we had to we used to calculate in minutes like it takes 7 minutes to reach home 5 minutes to, to eat my breakfast again 5 minutes to the station then catch the 1034 local 26 minutes i am there that's the way my calculation used to be at that time okay and i did this every day for 2 years <laughs> because after my first year bcom i joined article ship so 11 o'clock i was the only one to whom he had given leniency to reach up to 11:15 because i was also studying okay and 6 6 o'clock was the office closing time if we go to him we have to tell him and he was such a task master you cannot leave the office just because the time is over now I don't think articles follow this. <laughs> They won't like it as well. But that was the way it was. I had to tell him and go. Okay, every person has to tell him and then leave. If I would go to him at 6:30 and tell him, "What are you doing in the office?" He would ask. 
you have to take a local and go home and I have to study for my ACA, I have to study for my BCOM, but he wouldn't understand that. So till 7 we used to work, but what I am eternally grateful to him was, he really taught me the value of good work and being really committed to your work. And he was famous for being a real uh, fighter with the income tax department. Fighter in the sense he would not care for any income tax officer or anything. No giving of money. And then that was a time when every case used to come up for scrutiny. Every case used to come up for hearing. Every income tax case used to come up for hearing. And in fact, during my articleship itself, I have attended so many hearings because he would say, income tax officer, I will not go. You go. He, used to, he gave me so much courage to go to income tax offices when I was just an 18 year old. In fact, I had assessment orders in my name also <laughs> because I was not a chartered accountant. I used to have assessment orders in my name. And I, there, was, there were some six income tax offices in uh, Mumbai and every day I used to be in one office or the other. Any day you ask him today, oh, what should I do? He'll say, refund ka file, hai. three files, take such big files in the local train you'll have to go. He said, sit. For so many days, because I couldn't go back to the boss, Mr. Harish Bhai, and tell him that income tax officer did listen or what. I used to do dharna in the income tax office. <laughs> so he taught us that you should not take no for an answer. And I'm eternally grateful to him. They were very hard times, I can say. Two boys who joined along with me left the office. They couldn't bear the lecture. But I was so afraid to tell him I'll take a transfer that I didn't go. <laughs> and I was too young. So uh, this is how my articleship was. Okay? Even an audit. He would say, do the perfect work. And he had such an eye that they were all manual books just for your information. Even it's not computer, right? you can just take it in Bank Excel. And this big ledger. It used to be this big ledger. You have to think like this. You have to hear. This was the way he had it. Even uh, in, the, in the manual books, you know, the ledgers used to be quite huge, not the normal small books or anything like that. So we, when we used to do audits also, he used to make us do 100%. Whatever was the size of the company, we had to do the 100% audit. No, no sampling, nothing. So he was like so much particular. And even if we had done such a great job, we would feel like, yeah, I have done 100%. The moment he saw the trial, he would pick one, there would be a mistake. There. So he had that eye, you know. So, But he taught us that we have to do our work really with precision. So that's, that's one thing, like I said, Whatever I am in my, uh, whatever I did in my life, I have followed some of those principles that has helped me really make a name for myself uh, as a chartered, as a good chartered accountant. I can't say that I've been a very successful chartered accountant from the terms of success as people may uh, gauge like wealth or something. I don't think that I have heard enough that you know I can say I'm like a successful chartered accountant from a lot of people. This. But what I feel is success is if I have set out to do what I do in the way I want to do, that is success. And Mr. Motiwala taught me that you have to be ethical in whatever you do. You have to be precise in whatever you do. And like uh, uh, Sri Madhumati already said, you have to have that credibility first. And I think if I have succeeded, it is in the credibility. I would say that is, the, that is what has been my success factor, whether it was in the branch, or as a chairperson. I, I sometimes feel very humbled when people refer to me as ex-chairperson or anything because it has been now 17 years since I have been chairperson. But she looks the same. <laughs> she looks the same. 17 years. So still people remember me, me with a lot of affection and I think that's something which really humbles me every day and I feel really grateful to God for having me, given me that opportunity. Okay, coming to my this, after my CA, uh, I got married, I told you, I came here and I had been an expert in income tax actually uh, during my articleship because of this rigorous training which I got. <laughs> Audits are also there but income tax was the mainstay of our practice there. So when I came here, I tried to set up my income tax practice but I faced a lot of difficulties because of the gender in fact because it was not on the knowledge that people had uh, down. 
in Hyderabad, I found there was a lot of difference in the way professionals were treated as well and what they expected professionals to do. So like she said, selling your soul. People thought giving money, cash management is the only way to handle income tax, which was against my principles. So I refused to do that. And uh, that's why I thought, let me choose a different line and I tried to get specialized in internal auditing. So for all the people in practice, I would say, yeah, initially for practice, it is necessary that you do everything. But you have to be a master of one. Yes. You, I, I won't say you, can, you should not be a jack of all trades, but with jack of all trades, be a master of one. So that is going to make your name in the profession. So I, my profession, I set up my proprietary firm and uh, my entrepreneurial journey is that in 2001, along with my husband, we founded our software company. But I, since I was in my practice, I was the angel investor for that company, I can say, because I was the one who invested in the company and uh, uh, when my husband did work for one, we didn't take salary for one year, I supported the whole uh, this. So I am the angel investor, I can say, for that company. So we set up the company and that company was really doing very well. Uh, we were into quality management solutions for pharma industry, that's how Shilpa Medicare is one of our customers. Uh, and uh, because it was doing very well and I had, I came to a stage where I was in a dilemma whether I should come continue my practice or I have to jump in because I was like a part-time CFO for the company and I was also handling my practice practice was also doing reasonably well so that time I thought let me decide because it was the end of the day becoming too stressful for me more than the stress it was the guilt actually I should say it was a guilt of when I was trying to spend time for the company I used to feel I am not spending time for my practice and then vice versa so I used to feel guilty that I am probably not doing a hundred percent job in either one and that's when I thought I had to take a decision. So when we just like discussed everything, it was not a question of the value or anything, but which needed my presence most. Uh, I decided to become the CFO in the company. Okay. CFO in the, so the company. I was almost practice. thinking of quitting my practice, but like I need to say no. So I thought. So I was. It was. It's something like giving my my a part of your heart away. So my practice, giving up my practice, was very very difficult. It was something which actually made me, you know, stay awake. I used to feel so bad. How do I stop my practice? I had good customers, clients, and the clients didn't want me to stop. But I had to stop. So I actually told everyone, this is the time, and I'm going to stop. It so happened that one of my article students, along article clerks who had finished the year, was working in Deloitte. Due to some personal reasons, he wanted to come out of Deloitte and start practice. His wife had some terminal illness that he wanted to take care of her. He was not getting time in Deloitte. So he came and uh, he just came to visit me in my office just to take advice on how it would be to set up a practice. So I just told him, you want to take over my practice. And uh, it was a win-win situation uh, for both. So I'm so happy that my firm is still alive. <laughs> It's just a small journey of mine. Uh, now coming to the topic of international women's practice. All of us here are educated. We are empowered. So do you still think that we need to celebrate women's day? Because it was the end of the day because too stressful for me. More than the stress it was. What is the purpose of the women's day? Appreciation to the achievement. Can we do it any other day? Why not yes. any time? Whenever they achieve. <laughs> Why only on 8th March? <laughs> yeah, anyone has a different perspective. We all are empowered, but there are a lot more in society who are not as fortunate as we are. Okay, still, there's a lot more to go. Only 27% of the women are in the labor force in India. Okay. So we have a lot more to achieve and only by this day what we can do is not only showcase the achievements of remarkable women, I am saying there are a lot of women who have achieved a lot, okay, 
who have broken all stereotypes, who have really broken all barriers, the trailblazers in their profession, there are a lot of women who have achieved a lot. So it's one day to not only look at their achievements, but to learn from them and to see how we can spread this among the other not so fortunate people in society or people who can really aspire to do as, as good as them. Okay. If you see the number of boards uh, in India, how many women will be there if we, in the boards, company boards? How many? Two to three members. Percentage wise in all boards. Yeah, so overall if you take the companies, less than 5% of women are in boards, okay, they are representing in boards. So we had to bring in a regulation to make at least one woman director, in independent, not independent actually, that's that's the catch there. Independent director? No, independent directors have to be there, we but also. woman need not be independent director. Yeah, yeah, so people make, like you said, no, the other will become the director on films. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> for the sign, <laughs> just for signature, they'll make some woman the name. So many of them are just like there. To be on the right side of the yeah, law. Just to be That's on the So if you see the professional representation, it's less than 5% of women. And this needs to be changed. This cannot continue like that. Okay. So as per some reports, they say that it is going to take 300 years for women to achieve equality. Don't you think it's insulting for 50% of the population to wait for 300 years? It's an insult, right? So we need to accelerate this, isn't it? So the theme of this year's Women's Day, anyone knows what is the theme of this year's Women's Day? So we are all celebrating. Accelerate progress, yes. So very good. Invest. The theme of this this year's Women's Day is invest in women, accelerate growth. So we all who are more fortunate, maybe more you know, equipped with resources, should see that we invest in women. We invest in ourselves as well as we invest in other women. Okay. Climb and uplift. This should be the mantra for everyone. You climb the ladder, you lift others as well. You just don't do look after yourself. Because investing in women will have a very, very positive impact on the progress that we make as a nation, as a company, whatever. Even, in, uh, even statistics show that boards which have women members are 20% more profitable and their growth is 20% higher than the, the boards with no women. Okay? And it's the converse is also true. Wherever women participation has become less, those companies have started falling. So it's both sides. So this is a clear indication that women are important to be had because they have diverse points of view. Yeah. So people say men are from Mars, women are from Venus. But that's not that's not what we want. We want to coexist on Earth. I don't want a Mars or a Venus. I want we need to coexist on Earth. So if you have to coexist on earth, because we have different mental setups, little bit, we can give a very diverse opinion or we can have, we can, we need to get diversity in decision making as well. In boards, we need to have diverse thinking and that's what we can bring to the board. And many women are very, very conservative as far as financial risks are concerned. And that makes it a safe option in boards because you will try to take into account all the risks and then only arrive, give your consent to a decision. So that makes them real valuable members. And all chartered accountants will become even more valuable. So you have to try to become members on boards because that is really going to make, make your skill very useful to the growth of a company. So we have to invest in women and accelerate progress. I would just like to leave you at the end with one story because Madhumita said so much little bit, I also need to tell. <laughs> I'd like to tell you a small story. Yeah, I used to read a lot of books. <laughs> I'm a great fan of Agatha Christie oh, and I have a full collection. <laughs> no, I, I have a full collection of Agatha Christie books. Uh, 
ఐ ఐ లైక్ మర్డర్ ఐ లైక్ మర్డర్ మిస్ట్రీస్ కరెక్షన్ ఓకే సో దెర్ ఇస్ దిస్ బుక్ కాల్డ్ ప్యాలెస్ ఆఫ్ ఇల్యూజన్స్ బై చిత్ర చిత్ర బ్యానర్జీ దీవాకరుణి బ్యూటిఫుల్ బుక్ సో దిస్ ఈస్ యాక్చువల్లీ అ టేక్ ఆన్ ది మహాభారత బట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది వ్యూ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ద్రౌపది సో ఇట్స్ లైక్ అ విమెన్స్ వ్యూ పాయింట్ ఓకే హౌ మహా వై మహాభారత వాజ్ పాట్ ఫ్రమ్ ది వ్యూ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ ద్రౌపది సో ద స్టోరీ గోస్ లైక్ దిస్ దట్ ద్రౌపది షీ ఈస్ బార్న్ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ఫైర్ అండ్ షీ కేమ్ టువర్డ్స్ ది ఎండ్ వెన్ ది యజ్ఞ వాజ్ అబౌట్ టు ఎండ్ సో షీ ఈస్ వెరీ డార్క్ ఓకే సో బికాస్ షీ ఈస్ వెరీ డార్క్ అండ్ వీ ఆల్ హ్యావ్ దిస్ ఫేర్నెస్ Uh, <laughs> what should, what should i call that fixation for fairness we think fair is beautiful so she always had this feeling that she is not beautiful enough or she was always awkward because of that she used to feel diffident because of that she would feel she is not beautiful because of that and because she was a princess she was supposed to go in all the royal celebrations but she always used to try to avoid going into all the celebrations and all she used to avoid walking in the processions because she was feeling diffident about her looks okay so once one uh, astrologer came and that astrologer prophesied that she would be a great queen and she would change history so she was really a little this how can i do that i am such a dark princess i am actually shrinking in myself how can i do that so she asked krishna and krishna is her friend because Krishna is also dark so she feels that thing with <laughs> Krishna comfort level with Krishna because Krishna is also dark and she is always uh, she admires Krishna because in spite of being dark and that's how the feeling was that in spite of being dark he has so much of name to himself right? so much of fame so she confides in her says how a dark princess can change history how do you think a dark princess can change history so krishna you know is enigmatic self so he says a problem is a problem only if you look at it that way mostly others see you the way you see yourself okay that brings about a change in her complete thought process and she starts thinking why should i think i am dark and not beautiful and she starts telling us let me try an experiment she tells herself i am beautiful i am beautiful and in the day when there is another royal celebration she says i'll implement this and she she says i am beautiful and she walks with that confidence and that grace into the crowd and everyone stares at her where was this beauty hiding all these years <laughs> so what you are what you think you are so if you think you are weak others will see you as weak if you think you are strong others will see you as strong so no problem is a problem which is big enough that we cannot handle it it's only a problem if you think it's a problem otherwise you can easily handle it so that's my take for the day hope you have a wonderful day thank you lovely author and fine chitra banerjee divakar i would suggest all of you read them must read those many she has written uh, uh, really wonderful session madam uh, you said like it's a small story but we learned a lot from your small story uh in fact all the women chatted accountants are all the women who are here like all the achievers i can say uh, i request uh, all the women to join with us to felicitate uh, these two uh, beautiful angels uh, come and i request uh, hcs committee members also to join with us and uh, after the felicitation uh, i request murli gar to give a vote of thanks just before that the last thing what i wanted uh, to share when uh, aparna was talking about success you all must remember success means different things to different people but uh, how many of you have heard uh, ralph waldo emerson he gives a beautiful definition of success and he says to laugh often and love much to win the respect of intelligent people and the affection of children to earn the appreciation of critics and endure the betrayal of false friends to appreciate beauty to see the best in others to leave the world better a bit better whether by a healthy child a garden patch or a redeemed social condition to know that even one life has breathed easier 
because you have lived this is success i thought i should leave you all with this quote thank you i request murli gar to give uh, uh, her words about uh, women's and women's day good morning all uh me me o je pan the talan gaad ga ni de very very women are leading whether we need to honestly accept today gent is wearing white shirt and coming to meeting there is a back end definitely wife or female is there and i would like to say maha shivaratri and uh, wish you a happy women's day you are contributing a lot of things to country family and everything even mba once you enter into mba college or anywhere the first example they will tell multitasking you need to learn from women one side she is supporting to husband one side she is supporting to kids one side she is supporting to auntie uncle and on other side sister in laws each and everybody they try to drag only down not up are she came from some other location unknown place it is a new to me but each and everybody try to pull that is also positive you need to think when you will courage if someone is dragging only you will become a courage mir ever each and every one if you are praising you you will get one stand okay i know everything whenever we have a lot of dragging people that day we are become ladder going up always think positive you are not less than the man you have lot of courage today you completed ca that is not a easy task you know how many members they will inform to the, your parents ca is not a easy task why are necessarily wasting your money even my father somebody they told to me morally he is average first time uh, first show he will go for movies waste of spending for uh, ca you know ca means once upon time we need to go for the chennai i cleared ca 2022 2002 november batch we don't know internet also we don't know the mobiles also and i came from telugu medium one small para i need to read two hours i struggle okay the days no communication only 15 paisa card if i need 500 rupees i need to write it one week before to my father i need a 500 rupees today 500 we are spending pvr popcorn no i am worrying about i will buy for 2000 for family tickets i will buy for the popcorn ticket okay really i am telling because i know the penny each and every penny how hard we are earning see madam told you need to save the tax capital gain but you don't want to pay regarding your fee we don't want that clients we need to tell this is the fight track they need to see your study your hard work how you came become a ca your time is most valuable how people in the usa there if you talk also they will count time is money why we need to give a free service to those people if you have a quality even people ready to pay more than the market value they are expecting nowadays quality of work you no need 100 100 members of the client you need one client is enough complete your one year salary you will get because of one client that day only once a my hostel in charge they are not allowed to give a free seat for the hostel to study the ca their intention if you give the seat for the bcom at least 3 years they will complete bcom and they will go happily but ca they are not aware of when they will complete the ca it's a waste of investing on these people today my family eight cas is there eight cas i'm not telling any proud also my elder brother myself my younger brother my wife four members my sister sister husband sister father in law and a sister brother in law do it you what or you want to do it is specialized in that don't only once you clear the ca is not sufficient to survey the in the money you know need learn lot of things you know how many members are aware of sudha muti is uh, this one why you and me because we are fearing to enter into politics we are fearing to enter into something we are always tell some negative things who are not going women is able to go you have 33% opportunity in the next 10 years there is a lot of opportunity to grow women compared to men 
So one person is attending today meeting means I know how many efforts they put it. Five o'clock, four o'clock, they wake up. They will arrange the breakfast for kids. They inform to kids. They inform to husband. Everything. I don't want to take much time. Once again, wish you a happy Women's Day. Wish you all the best. You need to grow in all all positions, not less than the men. All the best. One one small addition, sir. With your permission, we hope you don't get offended. <laughs> There's a difference between the investment made for men in CA and women in CA, because one of the things which people tell is, it'll take so many years to pass. When will they get married? So this is not there for men. So this is one big challenge which comes up for women. And one more thing is, why should always the woman make the breakfast and kids? I mean, everyone can do it, right? Madam, I told you only. No, so, uh, no, so I, I, I miss to tell one thing to all the people. Yeah, maybe they are still young, not married. Uh, but when you have kids, please see that you remove the stereotyping from their mind. There is nothing like this is a woman's work and this is a man's work. Everyone should do everything. It's a life skill. So actually, we men need more empowerment because they are not able to take care of themselves. <laughs> we have I, to. I used to tell my children, my son, both of them are chartered accountants. But when they were young, even when they were about six or seven years old, the maid doesn't come. They, one fellow will take the broom and he will sweep. The other fellow will take a mop and he will mop. They have to do it. Otherwise, otherwise, no food. No food. <laughs> so now, they, so now, I, now I thought it will help them, but they are telling their wives, we used to do that time. Now we want to take it. Like <laughs> so sometimes it boomerangs us. <laughs> But yes, no, I mean that stereotyping. Main stereotyping. the main thing is the stereotyping. Even marriage, right? is marriage only for women? There is a man who is marrying also, right? But always it's the woman who is like for her as if the marriage is the be all and end all of her life. So that should not be the case. So since you are all like would be mothers <laughs> in future, so I would like to please tell that please remove stereotypes. Uh, from your children's brains, at least that's how the generations can improve. Change doesn't come easily; it doesn't come suddenly. It takes a long time to evolve, but we all have to play a pro play a role in this. It's not someone else who will come and do this. So the balancing we, act is very important. Yeah, we all we have don't to do have this. To be absolute feminist, you know. There's something yeah. I heard the other day. I intimidate men. I make them <laughs> don't. Why? Right? We are all equal. See, Women's Day feminist doesn't mean you have to put down men. Yeah. See, we are all two sides of the same coin. Even as you are proving your identity, give them the respect they deserve. They are also like us. So don't we don't have to go to the extreme and put men down. It's not that's not done. So I think we need to balance. It's very important. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you so yeah, why I said it in my house. Uh, that's one of the things I would say is success. We don't have this stereotyping at all in the role and uh, in in our house it was an unwritten rule that whoever reached home first would do the cooking so we never had this man's thing or anything and i'm really my husband has followed that <laughs> thank you <laughs> now my mother-in-law has taught i mean in that age I, I should respect her more because that was the age when like people are taught like men are superior and women are supposed to do the cooking and all she has brought all of all of her children up in such a way that there is nothing like this even a man can do uh, and everything. And the best cooks in the world are men. <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay, yeah, just I thought I'll share this because I'm seeing some young people, so it starts now. <laughs> uh, Lakshmi Garu, please come on to the dais to felicitate our uh, senior chartered accountants. I request all the women also to join.
see you every day and I feel really grateful to God. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I request uh, uh, Lakshmi Gauri to uh, have uh, address uh, the gathering over to Men's Day. Please. See, I want to tell you one thing. Uh, in my opinion, this is my opinion only, don't take this one. Women are not uh, underestimated or underpressured or something else. See, in the uh, house, my son comes to me, my doctor son. Always, Ma, what you are doing? My younger son comes to me. My, what are you doing? What you ate? How you are feeling? And all. Why you are dull? Dad is cold at you. Let him come. I'll ask like that. That's the courage he will give. Always in uh, houses, uh, women domination is only there. Outwardly, they'll say only men domination. They are uh, pressured by men and all. They'll say, my son does. Mom, what do you want to study me? In medicine, what specialty I'll take? I'll ask him to take general medicine or something like that. He tries to take only. There may, I don't think women are uh, under the pressure of the men are maybe the physically they may be stronger than women, but mentally women are sound, I feel, than men. <laughs> but uh, they can, women has the power to unite the family. Every uh, children, they will seek for mother. First, anything happens, they will say in, in worldwide, they will say ma, ma, they will say any happiness or any sadness if they encounter. I don't think women are uh, underestimated, under the pressure of men. Even many men are also under the pressure of women. That I'll accept. <laughs> that I'll accept. Real, I accept that one. But it is not coming out because that the what they feel, they feel insult. If they are under the domination of the woman, under the domination of the wife, they feel woman. With that frustration, they may do outside something else. That I'll accept. <laughs> we have to also consider them. What I feel is male and female are equally this one with uh, mutual understanding, mutual affection, they have to work, mutual discussion. And this is not the case of the domination. Men may be having, uh, because outside world they'll have much knowledge because they'll roam outside much, because women is much uh, content to the household. Unless women is there, that a house cannot be built with a systematic manner. It does not mean she is uh, under the pressure of men. She is uh, affection affectionate wife to the husband, affectionate mother to the children. She is the affectionate, she keeps the respect of the family. If the she, woman is dominated everywhere and equally right, equal rights, uh, they are under the pressure of men and all, all these slogans they are uh, uh, bringing and all, what I feel is it is a somewhat uh, um, disturbing our family life and our uh, Indian culture ni dominate just in our country. Kuncha men undi family ko representative onto undali. Who is monitoring and who is taking responsibility? Atlant in many houses men are earning for the they are the breadwinners. It does not mean Atlant wal the wal coolo na. Men family nanta button this kuni portion chiran ki. No, it is not like that. He is taking responsibility. Women is also sharing responsibility. He is also under powerful and women is also powerful. Both are always fighting for the equality and rights. That is not the family life. Equality means women should uh, little bit down to the earth and a little bit down to the husband. Because uh, family we have the hold in the family. Women will have definitely hold in the family. He, she can convince, husband will convince with her words. Children will convince with her the words. Only thing is she has to manage the household things. A husband will manage outside the household things. It does not mean one is uh, dominating the another, the another is uh, dominating another. Husband definitely gives the respect to his wife than any other woman. Definitely he gives. Next to mother he gives to wife only he gives to his wife. Don't feel that uh, women are under the pressure. They are uh, this one and all. Nowadays, every woman has, uh, they will have freedom. They are educated and they have the freedom to express their views and all. Manamo, no, I don't feel and the women are under the pressure of men and uh, while dominate Jayali, Manamo, Asal Mento, Samanangodal, Mento, men can take you and Samanamint, plus son, mother mortal winter gun, father mortal ante winner do. Oh, that is there definitely. My son comes to me, being a doctor, he comes to me. Mom, today I'll go to, shall I do this? What do you want? If you want to go anywhere, shall I take you there? 
if my husband does not accept also my son takes me wherever i wants where is the question of my husband is dominating me if he is not feeling well i have to accompany with him or i have to take care of him so that is mutuality mutuality understanding always you what i feel is to tell is for mutual understanding mutual affectionate you will run the life not to dominating you do the son should do like this husband should do obey to there is no question of obedience men will have their own this one they don't it looks uh, this one what i feel is please women don't uh, feel bad of this one society has already been arranged by elders with very logically and affectionately and systematically some of something five uh, percent will be here and their mistakes will be there it does not mean men are dominating in women and they are doing this on the other side also we have to do how how many men are suffering with the women Oh, all this you have to consider always uh, don't pressure women's women's day everyone will say happy mercy how many messages i received a happy what happy women's day only uh, happy women's day only women shall be happy others days women women are always happy happy only why they are not uh, this one they have their own education they have their own things though we don't have any okay men they don't send me out I will do at home and I will do my stock market. I have some knowledge. I have some money with me. Where is the question of I am under pressure of my husband? I will cooperate with him. In all the matters, I will uh, argue with him. I will do with him. Mutual, mutuality you have to think always. Not dominating another. See, if he dominates me also, what happens? For the sake of family only, he dominates me. This oh, everyone should understand. That's what I feel. Not the humanism. Thank you.